Todd McFarlane recently announced that, based on NPD research data, his DC Multiverse line was the number one selling action figure line of 2021. Is this true? If you can't tell from the thumbnail, I'm doubting it. Stay tuned to find out why. What's up, everybody? My name is Matt, often called Big Nerdy. Together, we are the NWO, the Nerd World Order, and this is if it's your first time here, this channel is all about action figures and nerd stuff and mostly action figures and sometimes we have some commentary on action figures and that's what we're doing today. We're talking about this story that broke a few weeks back where Toddy Mac came out and said, hey, look at us, number one in toy sales. And initially I was like, eh, that doesn't seem right. So what I decided to do was make a video and do some research, because that's what we do best here at Nerdzoic, and figure out does the evidence really support the fact that DC beat something like, oh, I don't know, Marvel Legends? Here's what you need to know. The information that Toddy Mac is referring to here was reported by the MPD Group, formerly known as the National Purchase Dairy Panel and MPD Research Inc. is an American market research company founded on September 28th, 1966 and based in Port Washington, New York. Whew a lot of words. In 2019, they joined forces with Nielsen, who is the huge provider of market research data. You've probably heard of the Nielsen ratings before. MPD measures how consumers shop across various channels, sourcing data from both retailers and consumers to quantify sales. It does this by collecting point of sale data, tracking retailers and distributors and food service operators, and measuring what's selling at 1,250 retailers across over 300,000 stores. They also interview over 12 million, that's right, million, consumers annually. So yeah, the MPD research thing, yeah, they sound pretty legit. And if you look at some of the things that the MPD report shows us, it seems even more legit. Listen to some of these interesting facts. So the global number one top manufacturer, Lego. Not that surprising, right? Top property, Barbie. Eh, maybe surprising, but not really. Top selling toy, Hot Wheels. Not really surprising. Top selling non-toy property, Pokemon, shocker. But then you get the top selling action figure, DC Comics Superheroes Multiverse, what? That, uh, one of these things is not like the other. So yeah, you get all those big heavy hitters, they make sense, you'd expect them to be where they are, but then you get DC Multiverse, they had, yeah, that doesn't seem right. I'm gonna approach this scientifically. Now, obviously, I think Marvel Legends is Star Wars, is going to sell more than DC Multiverse, but I'm going to set out to prove it using the science. And essentially using the scientific method, I'm gonna prove that this whole DC Multiverse outselling Marvel Legends thing is crap. At least I believe it is. Now I have four pieces of evidence that bring me to this conclusion. I think that after you hear them, you're gonna to come to the same conclusion. So let's go to exhibit A. Exhibit A is search volume. Now obviously this is not a measure of sales, but it's not a bad gauge of interest and general popularity. Using some search engine optimization tools, we can see that Marvel Legends gets around 90,500 searches per month, and the search results are over 287 million. Meanwhile, DC Multiverse gets just 10,000 searches a month and only has about 44 million search results. So Legends gets searched nine times as often and has seven times more search volume results. Again, this isn't sales data, but it certainly paints a convincing picture as to which is more popular. Not to mention the fact that DC Multiverse isn't just a toy line, it's also the name of like their universe. Exhibit B is Amazon sales. And let's be honest here, this is the least scientific of everything I'm gonna say. Producer Tom and I looked at the top 500 action figures and DC Multiverse actually has more entries in the top 500 than either Star Wars or Marvel Legends. That said, looking closer at what's on there for DC, there's a very strong recency bias. As we were doing our research, the Batman movie just premiered, and what do you know, two of the highest ranking DC figures are from the Batman movie. And then the next figure up is a Peacemaker figure, and you know what? That makes sense, because Peacemaker season one just ended on HBO Max. Since DC has the more recent movie and television shows, it would only make sense that they are more consistent in the current version of Amazon sales rankings. If we looked at this List back in December when Spider-Man No Way Home came out, I would bet that Marvel Legends that have anything to do with Spider-Man would be way above all of the DC multiverse. Next, I bring you Exhibit C, Nerdzoic Statistics. What, I'm in the toy business, my statistics matter now. Once again, this is not a cut and dry measurement, but also once again, when added to the other evidence, it paints a pretty clear picture. Now it's fair to say that my content is more Hasbro focused. So that's fair to say right off the bat, right? But that said, the top four highest viewed videos on my channel, all 
all Marvel Legends videos. In fact, there are eight Marvel Legends videos in the highest viewed list before the first highest viewed DC video. Forgetting the YouTube channel though, let's look at actual store sales. I just ran the numbers. So far in the entire history of my store, which is a year, for every one DC multiverse figure I sell, I sell, wait for it, 72 Marvel Legends. That's a 72 to one ratio. That's a pretty big ratio. And if that's not enough, let's go to exhibit D, the most damning piece of evidence of all, which is the UPC situation. Shortly after these numbers were announced, Ryan Ting of the Marvel Legends Hasbro marketing team took to Twitter to let us know some important information. He writes that, of note, in tracking US point of sale data, MPD does not aggregate a manufacturer similar waves assortment collections with unique item numbers. A hypothetical product line with 10 waves all under the same assortment number has total sales consolidated into a single row in the summary data view. However, an identical line of 10 waves each under a unique assortment number is represented by 10 separate rows in the data. Quite an important distinction in determining the true top selling items. This makes sense as the separate UPC by wave thing is something that Hasbro does and is one of the things that's really helped them tie each wave in with current media, be it TV or movies, as a marketing and selling point when they're trying to sell the product to big box stores. In fact, some people look at this system they use as one of the main reasons and drivers of Marvel Legends success. Now pay special attention here to what Ryan says. Notice he doesn't definitively say whether DC Multiverse is separated by wave or not, but he sure as hell is implying that it's not. And if that is the case, if NPD separated all the DC stuff out into waves like Marvel does, it likely wouldn't even be a contest. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, with that evidence, you can see why I have come to the conclusion that there is no chance in hell that DC Multiverse beat Marvel Legends head to head in 2021 sales. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Ironically, I didn't buy my first DC Multiverse figure from McFarlane until about a year ago. Check out this video here where I actually unboxed box them and give my first impressions from the perspective of a lifelong Hasbro guy. And remember, you gotta get old, but you don't have to grow up. Just be cool and stay nerdy. Later.